What is going on everybody, Brutal Sam is here and uh, today we'll be taking a look on how to use Remote Package Installer to install games on PS4 Jailbreak 9.00 but this works on all the previous jailbreaks as well, it doesn't have to be 9.00 specifically. So first things first, you need to connect your PS4 and PC to the same network. This will not work if uh, PS4 and PC are on two different networks, so make sure to connect your PS4 and PC to the same network and it's best that you do it through ethernet cables because it's much faster and much stable and reliable that way much more better than the wi-fi method so i highly recommend that you do this through ethernet cables okay now let's move on to step number one you need to download and install node.js if you have a 64-bit windows system download the x64 uh, build if you have a 32-bit Windows system, download the x86 build, okay? And now we'll be taking a look on how to install this. It's pretty straightforward, just next, next, next. Okay, go ahead and open it. Click on next. I accept, of course. Next. 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 And when you get to this page, do not check this, okay? Just leave it unchecked and click next again. Install and uh, the software should start installing to your PC. Give it a moment. This is very important for uh, the uh, PS4 package sender PC application to function. If you don't do this, the PC application will not work. Okay, we're done installing this. Finish. And let's move on to the next step, which is downloading and installing Remote Package Installer application to your PS4. So go ahead and download it. And when it's done downloading, uh, go ahead and send it to a USB flash drive, plug in that USB drive to the PS4 and go to the debug settings and install it from there. Like you always install games and apps, you know the drill. After that, you need to download one of the PS4 package sender applications for PC. And there is plenty of them out there, but I selected only two uh, that work best for me. Uh, for this one right here, you need to download version 1.06 because it's the latest version and it's the most stable version. So go ahead and download it. And when you download one of them, you're basically done with this step. So let's move on to the next step. In this step, you need to extract one of the uh, applications that you want to use from me. I'm going to extract both of them because I'm going to be testing both of them. I'll extract this one first. All right, done with it. Now I'm going to extract the 1.06 package sender, which was developed by Frosty uh, by creating a folder here. All right, so you can create a folder wherever you want on your PC. This is just for demonstration, okay? Now I'm going to extract the contents of this zip file here to this folder and I'm basically done with the extracting process. Next I'm going to uh, double click on the exe file, okay, I'm just going to open the 1.06 package sender, double click on that, alright. Now all we have to do is type the PS4 IP address here and it will connect automatically, you don't have to click anything. When you type the IP address, it will be connected automatically, all right? Now we need to drag and drop a game package file on top of this application. So I got Far Cry 6 here. I'm going to drag and drop it here, then select it with the left mouse button. Make sure it's selected. Make sure it's blue, all right? Now go to the PS4, open the remote package installer, and all you got to do now is hit process queue, all right? Now, don't worry about this progress bar down here because sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. All you got to do is go to the PS4 notifications and check if the download, uh, the installation has started or not. So let's check it out. As you can see, Far Cry 6 have appeared here, but it's stuck at preparing to download 4%. Don't worry if this happens, just open it and hit pause. All right, then open it again and hit resume this thing right here is not common but if it happens to you this is how to fix it just pause and resume and it should start installing as you can see this is like a, a big file like a 34 gigabyte and i'm going to skip ahead to show you that it has installed successfully 
All right, we're here now after 15 minutes and uh, Far Cry 6 is done installing on the PS4. Now I'm gonna go back to the home screen to check the game's version and size. So press start. Okay, now scroll down to information. And as you can see, this is version 1.00. This is the game without the 1.06 update, which is a 59 gigabyte update that you need to install because it has that vast Insanity DLC and tons of other improvements and additions. So you really have to install that update if you want to play Far Cry 6. So as you can see, the game has been installed and is working without any issues, which brings us to the end of the first app testing. And now let's move on to the uh, second app testing which is really not that different the process remains the same so go ahead and double click on that all right now all you got to do is type the ps4's ip address here and uh, the app is going to save it so you don't have to type it again next time you run it so uh, now we go and uh, drag and drop a game package here i have crisis 3 here so drag and drop it here okay and make sure to select it with the left mouse button and run remote package installer okay now hit send packages and you should see that the uh, status here changed from idle to sending okay now we go to the ps4 and check if crisis have appeared and as you can see it has appeared here and you can click on it to check the speed so yeah let's check the notifications and it's there now i have to skip ahead to show you that the game has been installed and it took only uh, 16 minutes to install because it's 10 gigabyte, uh, unlike Far Cry 6. Okay, let's check the uh, game size and version here. All right, 10 gigabyte size, version 1.00. So I'm gonna run it and it's working so yeah this is how you use remote package installer with the senders to uh, install ps4 games but now we will take a look at two cases where it does not work okay so the first one is this one right here you have your game there you open remote package installer and then you hit send packages but nothing happens and uh, the status remains at idle instead of sending to fix this, open the task manager and search for Node.js, uh, sort by name to find it easily, okay? Sort by name and find Node.js and close all of them. All right, now you can go ahead and try again and it will start sending, no issues. The second case or possibility is when you thought you were so smart then you went to the router and you enabled MAC address filtering and blocked the PS4's MAC address thinking this will only prevent the PS4 from connecting to the internet and will not prevent file sending. Guess what? It does prevent file sending and remote package sender will not work if you have Mac filtering turned on. So don't turn on Mac filtering. And if you do, you're gonna end up with this error. You're gonna end up with preparing to download and it's gonna be stuck at 0% or 1%. And it doesn't matter if you pause and resume, nothing's gonna happen. So that's because of Mac filtering. Now I'm going to show you what happens when I turn Mac filtering off. So there you go. I disabled it. And now I'm going to try again to use Remo package uh, sender. So as you can see here, I'm going to hit send packages and it's sending. As you can see, let's check the PS4 and there you have it. Uh, it appeared and as you can see, it's moving. So yeah, don't turn on Mac filtering and don't block the PS4's Mac address. Uh, and instead use al azifs DNS day block updates. So, yeah. Finally, don't forget to allow a PS4 package sender through Windows Firewall alongside with the uh, Node.js. So remember to allow both of them through Windows uh, Firewall because if you don't, Windows will block the outgoing and incoming connections. So make sure to allow both of them through firewall that's it that's the end of the video and i hope this was helpful to you and i'll see you soon take care